Hello friends, I'm Sandy Scroggins. I am here today to show you how I made 32 cards using the Spellbinders Around the World card kit. The papers were so much fun to work with and the ephemera pieces are so cute. For adhesive, I used art glitter glue and my ATG gun. All my cards are standard American A2 size, which is five and a half by four and a quarter inches. For measurements, please visit my coordinating blog at thecraftybean.com. Now let's get started. For my first card design, I used card sketch number 174 by My Favorite Things. I cut a piece of black cardstock to five and a half by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of black pattern paper to five and a quarter by four inches and adhered it to the card. I cut a piece of dark blue cardstock to three and a quarter by three and a quarter inches and a piece of blue matte pattern paper to three by three inches and adhered them together. I adhered that to the top center of the card. I cut a piece of black and white striped pattern paper to three and three quarter by three quarter inches and adhered it to the center of the map. Then I adhered three ephemera pieces across the strip of pattern paper. I was able to make two cards with this design. And here is the completed card. For my second card design, I used card sketch number 31 by Sugar Pea Designs. I cut a piece of airplane pattern paper to four by three and a quarter inches and adhered it to the top center of the card. I cut a piece of location pattern paper to four by two inches and adhered it to the bottom center of the card. I adhered a gold pinstripe peel off by Love From Lindsay between the two pattern papers. I cut a piece of dark blue cardstock to three and a quarter by four inches and a piece of blue pattern paper to three by three and three quarter inches and adhered them together. Using a one inch circle punch, I cut a one half inch circle in the top left of the blue cardstock and pattern paper. I adhered that to the center of the card. I adhered the journey ephemera sentiment to the bottom of the blue cardstock and pattern paper. Then I adhered a circle ephemera piece to the card where the punch out is. I was able to make two cards with this design. And here is the completed card. For my third card design, I used card sketch number 694 by Sketch Saturday. I cut a piece of blue pattern paper to two and a quarter by five and a quarter inches and adhered it to the top of the card base. I cut a piece of fun word pattern paper to two by five and a quarter inches and adhered it to the bottom of the card base. I adhered a gold pinstripe peel off by Love From Lizzie between the two pattern papers. I die cut a two inch circle out of white cardstock and adhered it to the left center of the card. I adhered an airplane ephemera piece to the middle of the card circle die cut. Then I adhered two tickets as a banner to the top right side of the card. I was able to make two cards with this design.
And here is the completed card. For my fourth card design, I use card sketch number 494 by My Favorite Things. I cut a piece of blue and white pattern paper to 5.5 by 4.25 inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of green and white pattern paper to 5.5 by 2 and 3 quarters and adhered it to the card. I die cut a 4 inch oval die out of white cardstock and adhered it to the center of the card. I adhered the ephemera sentiment awesome to the bottom center of the oval. Then I adhered two elephants to the oval. The smaller elephant I popped up with pop-up dots. I was able to make two cards with this design. And here is the completed card. For my fifth card design, I use card sketch number 441 by My Favorite Things. I cut a piece of pink cardstock to 5.5 by 4.25 inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of multicolored pattern paper to 5.25 by 4 inches and adhered it to the card. I cut another piece of pink cardstock to 2 and 3 quarters by 2 and 3 quarters and a piece of pink pattern paper to 2 and 3 quarters by 2 and 3 quarters and adhered them together at an angle. I adhered that to the top center of the card. I adhered the ephemera sentiment relaxed to the bottom of the pink cardstock and pattern paper. Then I adhered two butterflies to the center of the card. I was able to make two cards with this design. And here is the completed card. For my sixth card design, I use card sketch number 93 by Operation Write Home. I cut a piece of black cardstock to 5.5 by 4.25 inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of yellow pattern paper to 1.25 by 5.5 inches and adhered it to the right side of the card. I cut two pieces of pattern paper to 3 by 4 inches and adhered them together at an angle. I adhered that to the center of the card. Then I adhered a cheetah ephemera piece to the bottom right of the card using pop-up dots. I was able to make two cards with this design.
And here is the completed card. For my seventh card design, I used card sketch number 549 by Mojo Monday. I cut a piece of gold mirror cardstock to 5.5 by 4.25 inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of peach pattern paper to 5.25 by 4 inches and adhered it to the card. I cut a piece of camera pattern paper to 2 by 5.25 inches and adhered it to the center of the card. I die cut a banner out of gold mirror cardstock and adhered it to the right of the camera pattern paper. Then I adhered two ephemera pieces to the top left of the card. I was able to make two cards with this design. And here is the completed card. For my eighth card design, I used card sketch number 44 by Sugar Pea Designs. I cut a piece of black and white pattern paper to three by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the bottom of the card. I cut a piece of green leaf paper to three by four and one quarter inches and adhered it to the top of the card, overlapping the black and white pattern paper. Taking a piece of pink cheetah paper, I placed it on the card at an angle, turned the card over, and cut away the overhang. Then I adhered that to the card. I adhered a bird caged ephemera piece to the bottom right of the card. Then I adhered a bird ephemera piece to the top of the bird cage ephemera piece. I was able to make two cards with this design. And here is the completed card. For my ninth card design, I used card sketch number 601 by My Favorite Things. I cut a piece of pattern paper to 2 by 4 inches and adhered it to the bottom of the card base. I cut two pieces of pattern paper to 2 by 3 and a quarter inches and adhered them side by side above the first pattern paper. Then I adhered a taxi cab ephemera piece to the center of the card. I was able to make four cards using this design. And here is the completed card. For my 10th card design, I used card sketch number 15 by Sugar Pea Designs. I cut a piece of black cardstock to 5.5 by 4.25 inches and adhered it to the card base. 
I cut a piece of black and white striped paper to five and a quarter by four inches and adhered it to the card. I cut a piece of yellow pattern paper to two and a half by five inches, rounded the four corners, and adhered it to the left side of the card. I cut a piece of green leaf pattern paper to three by four inches, rounded two of the corners, and adhered it to the right center of the card, overlapping the yellow pattern paper. Then I adhered two butterflies to the center of the card. I was able to make two cards with this design. And here is the completed card. For my 11th card design, I used card sketch number 160 by Freshly Made Sketches. I cut a piece of black and white pattern paper to two by four and a half inches, cut a fishtail on one side of it, and adhered it to the left side of the card base. I cut a piece of pink pattern paper to one and a half by three and five eighths inches, and adhered it to the right side of the card base. I adhered two butterflies to the center of the card. I was able to make two cards with this design. And here is the completed card. For my 12th card design, I used card sketch number one by Freshly Made Sketches. I cut a piece of pink cardstock to five and a half by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of pattern paper to two and a quarter by three and a quarter inches and adhered it at an angle on the left side of the card. I cut a piece of blue pattern paper to two and one eighth by two and one eighth and adhered it to the right side of the card. I cut a piece of yellow pattern paper to one by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the bottom of the other two pattern papers. I adhered a yellow VW van to the center of the card. Then I adhered two gemstones by Picket Fence Studios to the right, top right side of the card. I was able to make two cards with this design. And here is the completed card. For my 13th card design, I used card sketch number 534 by Mojo Monday. I cut a piece of yellow cardstock to five and a half by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut two pieces of pattern paper to two by three inches and adhered them side by side in the center of the card. Then I adhered a globe ephemera piece and a ticket stub ephemera piece to the center of the card. I was able to make two cards with this design. And here is the completed card. 
For my 14th card design, I use card sketch number two by Sugar Pea Designs. I cut a piece of green cardstock to five and a half by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of blue cardstock to three by four and a half inches and rounded two of the corners. I cut a piece of pattern paper to two and three quarters by four and one eighth inches, rounded two of the corners and adhered it to the blue cardstock. I adhered that to the center of the card. I die cut a banner out of gold mirror cardstock and adhered it to the left of the center focal point. Then I adhered a trio of books ephemera piece to the bottom left of the card. I was able to make two cards with this design. And here is the completed card. For my 15th and final card design, I use card sketch number three by Freshly Made Sketches. I cut a piece of yellow cardstock to five and a half by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of pink pattern paper to one and a half by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the left side of the card. I die cut a banner out of gold mirror cardstock and adhered it to the left side of the pink pattern paper. I cut a piece of camera pattern paper to three and a half by two and three quarter inches and adhered it to the center of the card. I die cut a two inch circle out of white cardstock and adhered it to the bottom left of the card. Then I adhered a pair of sunglasses and a camera ephemera piece to the center of the circle die cut. I was able to make two cards with this design. And here is the completed card. And here is a look at the 34 cards I made using this card kit. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and please give me a thumbs up. Also, please let me know which card is your favorite in the comment section below. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.